So I've noticed performance of this plane is getting pretty bad. On the long strokes, I've noticed the material of the wood slowly goes like this. I'm pretty sure I know the reason why. You can see that. There we go. Stay on. See better now? You're not straight, you got that angle. Yeah. Let's fix it. Wish I had better autofocus. So the problem's been is I've been hand sharpening these with um, diamond lapping plates. Yeah, see you later. Um, and obviously our um, technique's a bit wrong, so I'll slowly, slowly sharpen this more and more at an angle. Right, so what we need to do is get a honing guide and re rehone this bevel so it's perpendicular and, and at 25 degrees. So I'm going to do what any woodworker would do when they need a honing guide, and that's download a model of Thingiverse and 3D print it. how the parts came out of the printer. See this disc here at the bottom of the wheel? Um, that's the surface adhesion layer. The printer prints this layer first and what it does, it keeps the model stuck to the bed of the printer so it doesn't move around while the model's being printed. By the way, I also printed these bevel angle guides. So we'll see how they work. Okay, so after using this for a few minutes, uh, there's a few things I've noticed. Screws actually come quite loose. So what I've done is upgrade it to a bigger bolt. And that feels a lot better. This screw still feels fine. And I suspect what's happened is the gunk from the printer is actually jammed in the thread in a similar style. If you stick a matchstick in old threads, it can sort of just re rebind in there. So, I'm just going to leave that as is. So the other thing I've noticed is, you know, no matter how much I squeeze and tighten this screw, there's always a bit of play. So what I'm going to do is cut small leather strips and glue them in here and see if that helps. So sorry about the sound of the rain, I live in sunny Melbourne, what can you do? So the glue's dried and this field was a lot better, a lot sturdier. So let's continue with sharpening. Okay, the rain finally stopped and I've been owning this for a fair while, so let's see how it's looking. Right, I'm not sure how well you can see this, but there's still a slight curve on each side. Uh, and I think this is the best I'm going to get out of this guy. Alright, so there you go. 
a 3D printed toning guide. It actually works. So I guess the question is, would I recommend it? And when answering this, I'm gonna assume you either have or have access to a 3D printer, otherwise it's a pretty, pretty mute point. So the answer has to be no. It's just, it's just too fiddly. You've got to like, I mean, after printing the parts, you have to um, you know, clean them all up, uh, stuff around with the bolts, glue these leather strips in. You know, honing guides aren't that expensive, so you're probably just better off buying one. One thing I do want to mention is just how actually solid this plastic feels. I mean, it feels like a proper inject and molded piece of quality plastic. And this was printed with a 50% infill setting on the printer, so that means there's like a honeycomb matrix and inside it's not solid. Can print solid, but the author of the model recommended 50% infill. So that's what I did. Thanks for watching. I hope this was of interest. Please comment your thoughts below. Do all the good stuff. Thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share. Helps me out. Thanks for watching and see you next time.